Having handed over our proceedings to heaven, we must therefore proceed. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from America, or from Australia, I thank you very much for your contributions on my channel. I thank you for all your comments and all your messages. I read your comments from time to time. It encourages me a lot to continue on this very mission. And I learn a lot from the comment section. I learn a whole lot. I do not know it all. I am learning just as you are learning, but the most important thing is that we don't want to allow these people to continue to tell us a false story anymore. The media in Nigeria has been hijacked. The media of the world has been hijacked and they have been torn against the poor masses of that contraction called Nigeria. They are not telling the stories the way it is. That is why we have taken it upon ourselves to speak up with our little platform to say it the way it is. Say it without being politically correct. Say it without offending anybody. Say it without any, without any hate. We are saying it just the way it is. Bringing out the truth, information about the situation of that very country from called Nigeria. Their friends are suffering in that very country from called Nigeria. They have been intimidated. They have been marginalized. They have been killed. As we speak now, their friends are losing their life in numbers in that very country from called Nigeria. A lot of people are losing their life in Imo State mainly. The military has been invited to Imo State to destroy lives. Recently, you can see their, their chief of army staff came to Imo State. Came to Imo State after the, 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 the governors must have held their meeting. That is why sometimes when you see these governors, when, we, when Mazina Nikano stands up and begins to curse on these governors and begin to pour words on these governors, you think he's joking. You would think maybe he's just hating them. These governors mean nothing well. They don't mean well for the southeastern part of Nigeria. None of the governors in the southeastern part of Nigeria mean well for the citizens. They are all there for their own selfish interests and they want to kill us, sell our land for their selfish interests. After they came for their meeting and discussion, thinking that they were going to cool down the insecurity in the southeastern part of Nigeria and the, and the killing that is being caused by the federal government in the southeastern part of Nigeria, they did not do that. After the meeting, the, 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 the chief of army staff now visited Imo State. And what did he do? He urged the military to hasten up on attacking the members of IPO, the indigenous people of Biafra. The chief of army staff came to Imo State to tell them to hasten up and increase their pressure on the Biafrans. This is what they have come, making the announcement, even in Imo State. This is to show you that we are in a very serious soup in the hand of all these governors. They never mean well for all of us. More especially Hopuzo Demma, Dave Umahe, and Wike. These governors have sworn to swim in our blood on a daily basis. But they are going to pay dearly. They will pay dearly. Chuko Biyama will not allow them to go free. Chuko Biyama, who has given us Biafra, will not allow them to give, go free. It doesn't matter how they try. They will surely pay for all the big lives that they're wasting in that very contraption called Nigeria. As we speak, so many people are losing their life. Losing their land for no just cause, for no reason. Insecurity in the southeast that they are talking about is being caused by the government of Nigeria. No one else. But you go to their media, they are trying on daily basis to change the narrative. They want to change the narrative and make us the aggressors. They were the people that brought the insecurity in the southern part of Nigeria, killing innocent people on a daily basis, attacking innocent people for no just cause. They have increased the insecurity. They formed their unknown government. The unknown government came out. They were fighting with them. 
killing another government in the name of killing another government they went to houses killing innocent people shooting innocent people on site there has been a lot of testimony people have come to testify which i have some of the videos on my channel you can check up the testimonies on my channel where people came to testify how these people went to kill innocent people in their houses there are videos anywhere you can find them even on social media this is what the government is doing beer france have been abducted some are being killed and poor acid you cannot recognize them some are being abducted and transferred to the northern part of nigeria as we speak people are losing their life on daily basis people can no longer walk about freely you wake up you're not sure you're going to see the next day this is the situation that the southeast sub part of nigeria is facing and we urge everybody to add their voice add your voice so that the world will hear us because we are not going to be silent and we must surely retaliate when the retaliation begins to come when the retaliation begins to come when it go, because it's going to come very very soon i am very sure it's going to come very soon when it begins to come let nobody blame the biafrans let nobody say we did not say it we did not they didn't hear when it was happening on us it is happening again the whole people in that very contraption called nigeria are quiet the media is silent they're not speaking about it they pretend as if nothing is happening while innocent citizens are losing their life on daily basis well the time is coming when people will no longer be silent the international media do not want to come in the time will come when they will beg to come in and they will not see the way but no matter what they do they will kill us we will kill them and be from us come they are trying every means possible to suppress us every means possible to suppress us you are talking about insecurity insecurity in nigeria insecurity that is caused by the government itself insecurity sponsored by the government itself to make sure that this southern part of nigeria is not secure to make sure that they hand over the southern part of nigeria to the hands of the headsmen the esm was formed only to fight against those who are invading the lands in the bushes esm we are never after any innocent person they have never ever till date even as the military is attacking them as the Boko Haram military is attacking them they have never killed any innocent person they are fighting a just cause protecting the innocent people but they came after them begin to kill innocent people and tag them members of ESN when they are not you can see so many of their fake testimonies killing innocent people calling them a non government calling them ESN they try to nickname ESN and call ESN on non government. When Mazen Nandekano has come out on the media, on his broadcast many times to tell them that ESN has nothing to do with unknown government. Neither do Mazen Nandekano have any contact with them or anything to do with them. Nothing whatsoever. But the media, they have used their media to try to change the narrative on a daily basis. Trying to change the narrative, trying to tag ESN on non government. The, the media is promoting this very narrative on daily basis and people are buying it people are buying it but we will not be silent this is the reason why we are always online to bring out the truth i saw a video where somebody was trying to speak about the decay of that very contractor called nigeria that people are not talking about on a national tv he was talking that the military are even buying their weapons they are buying their weapons they are using from a black market the bullet that the military is using, their police is using in their AK-47, they are buying it from black market in Nigeria. That is how porous that very country, that is what Fulani have turned that country to. The military now buy their own bullet from black market in Nigeria. When, when Mazen Nandekano told you that Nigeria is, not, is going to be worse than Somalia, you thought it was a joke. It has become worse than Somalia. Listen to this very interview that was granted on national television and hear what this man has to do. Say. I was just about to make reference to the amount of work because what some people would say is that when we see those kind of lapses, what it should uh, indicate to us is that there is a need to strengthen internal mechanisms of checks, especially when it comes to the issue of arms. Mm -hmm. uh, because right now we're dealing with the, the proliferation of small arms and light weapons. And some people have been saying, oh, oftentimes we point fingers upwards and say, oh, it's because our borders are porous. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was war in Libya and as a result it found its way into Nigeria. But we're not making reference it would seem enough to those that are being uh, sold in-house I mean what you're making reference to is not it's not exactly strange because this has been well documented in the wake of the Niger Delta crisis uh, there were very strong reports and this was not rumored it was documented 
that the armory of the Nigerian military was open and that there were those who were selling weapons uh, to aid the, uh, the, the strife, it would seem, in the Niger Delta. Uh, so as a result of that, do you think that we as a people and even in, within the security agencies have placed checks um, on, on being able to account for the armors and the, the weapons that we have in our armory? See, this is a very critical issue. Unfortunately, uh, uh, in one of our matters, uh, um, uh, in the course of appeal, one of the course of appeal decisions, uh, I, I like uh, making reference to the, the the judge that gave the lead judgment said, "Truth is not a common vegetation on this planet. People don't like facing the truth." As we are talking now. Check through this country in various parts. Do you know that they are, let the police be, kept, be, be very sincere about their system? In some states in this country, in some places, policemen are buying their bullets from black markets. Hmm. That's true. They need to check it. This, this is not, we don't, we, I'm not raising alarm. Policemen are buying their, some of their bullets from black markets. This AK-47 they are carrying, they are buying packets from black markets. And I'm sure if they want to sit down and check through, they will know where those things are sold. Whether they are taken from the uh, uh, official armory or it is imported illegally, but it's there in circulation. It's there in circulation. They need to tell the truth. A lot of the weapons that are being are being circulated, do we and you know we have we have very porous borders. We must admit it. So there's uh, situations where some of these are imported illegally in. Some of them are. After hearing for this man, you can agree with me that Nigeria has become worse than Somalia. The prophecy of Mazen Nandikano, may His Excellency Mazen Nandikano be blessed all the days of his life. May he live long forever. May the Almighty God continue to protect him. May Chukukukabiyama continue to give him life in abundance. Continue to give him more knowledge and understanding. Wherever he is, may Chukukukabiyama continue to protect Mazen Nandekan every now and again. For he has brought the light. For he has brought the light and take us out of darkness. May Chukukukabiyama continue to bless him. May Chukukukabiyama continue to bless the ESN, members of ESN, wherever they are. Chukukukabiyama will continue to protect them and nothing will happen to them. It doesn't matter any attack that comes to them. They will always overcome. They will always overcome. We are not the oppressors. We are at the receiving end. We are the oppressed, not the oppressors. We are the oppressed. We are the victims. Those of us from the southern part of Nigeria are the victims. The Fulani Janjaweed are the oppressors. The Fulani Kabans, the Fulani Janjaweeds, they are the oppressors. We call them by their name. They are the ones that are equipping all these Janjaweed with all their weapons. You see their shirt going to them one by one. Seeing this people with sophisticated weapons, they are more equipped, more equipped than the Nigerian military. Now we are not talking about Boko Haram. They have renamed them bandit. The bandit is more equipped than the military. That is why they are scared. Even a national state television, he's saying that nobody dares go into their den. No military and whatever dares go into their den. That they have battalions. A full and they tell you that they have battalions. Have battalions in the bushes. Well armed. Who is arming them? You know the cost of AK-47. You know the cost of the bullets. Who is funding them? No one else but the full and that is why they came out to tell us that they have oil, they have discovered oil, and they have gold in their section. We know they never discovered any oil. There's never any oil in the north. No, not even the dot. What they discovered was water. The only thing we have in the, in the north is gold. There has been gold in the north for a very long time. And this full and ginger weed are digging this gold, not bringing it in the, in the national post. They are not contributing the money to the national post. They are Drilling this very gold individually, sharing it among themselves. The Fulani ginger weed, they share this gold among themselves. They make a hell of money from this gold, and that is how they equip their people with weapon and ammunition to take over the country. That is why Zamfara is on fire. 
you saw a video that came out where there is a, 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 a what do they call it they have they have a, 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 an airport in the bush in the bush you have a they have a railway on the a, 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 what they call it, a flightway on the bush what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment all right guys uh the video clip you are watching now is the video clip of the zamfara private jet you heard that was caught on camera transporting um gold out of zamfara you can remember that uh just uh two weeks ago the federal government placed a no-fly zone in zamfara state despite the fact that zamfara does not have an airport but could you imagine what we are seeing here right now is this not an airport this is an airport in the middle of the forest you get and this video came out recently and the guy that actually revealed this video you know sammy beckoned that his face should not be allowed to be shown on the video you get so this video has gone viral on the internet and it is one of the reason why the federal government had to place a no-fly zone in zamfara state and one will wonder zamfara normally there is no airport in zamfara state but why did the federal government place a no-fly zone in zamfara i think uh then um gabashe who is a media consultant to i mean the media spokesperson to president Barry said that because jets were actually seen transporting gold out of zamfara and of course you guys could remember that zamfara claimed that they are selling their gold to the cbn in fact matawile the governor of zamfara state met with Buari and said that zamfara is ready to start mining their gold so zamfara has a mine now there's an information that according to information I heard on social media that this private jet is owned by Britain and that Britain is cutting away Zamfara gold and this is in conjunction with the federal government but from the look they have a wrong way a wrong way on the bush we have flight came to come to take gold in Zamfara take gold and go to a foreign country without the noise you remember when the government said they gave a, 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 a no, no fly zone in, a, in, a, in Zamfara there was a time the government came out to declare a no-fly zone in Zamfara. And you'll be asking yourself, how can a go in a country, you declare a no-fly no zone in a particular state? In a particular state, because of, uh, because of uh, a bandit, you declare a no-fly zone. That means there is a flight coming in, either bringing ammunition or taking out ammunition. You heard when they mentioned that no-fly zone in Zamfara. And you didn't ask yourself a question. Why are these people talking about a no-fly zone in a state where there is no war? Even if there is a war, how can a country, a country declare a no-fly zone in a particular state? For what reason? Not until when that video came out. When that video came out, there is a wrong way, a wrong way where flights come into Zamfara to carry gold and go to a foreign country to sell. Who are those doing it? The full and Jawit. This has been happening for years, for many years. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's speaking up about it. They pretend that if it's all well. And today, they have equipped themselves, financed all their bandits in that very area, trying to destabilize the whole country. And they will turn around and begin to blame the Southerners as the, those who are oppressing them. Blaming the Southerners as the oppressors. What a war. And the media that is being owned by Southerners, media owned by Southerners, are coming out to change the narrative change the narrative and make us our oppressors southerners coming out to change the narrative you see them on national television coming to talk rubbish thank god for social media that is why we are all here we will not allow them to change the narrative it doesn't matter how they try let them keep trying they will never succeed the truth must come out we will speak the truth the way it is and the world will continue to hear our voice and know what is happening in that country from nigeria we will continue to say it Thank you so much for watching wherever you're watching. Share this video with anybody that need to hear what you were saying. Anybody that want to hear the truth, share the video with them. Share in your platform. Go to the comment section and make your contributions also. I learn from you, you learn from me. That is how we grow. We will not allow them to tell our story. We will take charge of this story and tell our story, the truth and nothing but the truth. And the world have to hear us. If they like, they come to our aid. If they don't like, we will fight our way out. They will kill us. 
we will kill them. At the end, Biafra will come. Odudua will come. May God bless Mazen and the Kano. God bless Biafra. God bless Sondibo. God bless the Odudua. God bless Middlebet. God bless all those who are fighting for a legitimate cause in that very country of God, Nigeria, fighting for their freedom. May God bless all of them and give them strength to survive. We shall all be victorious. It doesn't matter how they try. We will win. Thank you and remember this. Bye-bye. See you again on the next video. Thank you.